Hi, I'm Warren Miller. And I'm Tim Byler. And in this video, we're going to talk about whether or not a business should have a redundant internet service. So Tim, I own a business. I'm about to close a major deal and, my, and I'm on a video conference and my internet goes down. Mm. It's not a good situation to be in. Well, that's not a good situation at all. And that's why businesses should really strongly consider a redundant internet supply. Uh, when, when your internet goes down for your business, you've got, you've got productivity issues. You potentially have a lot of staff that can no longer be productive. You might have uh, machinery that's down. I mean, there's so much that's electronic anymore. And you got a customer service issue. You know, you might have customers that want to call in and need service or, or need you to whatever it is, and you're not able to do it because you lost your internet connection. Yeah. You know, Tim, it seems to me, I remember back in the day when the electricity would go out for an extended period of time, everybody gets sent home. Businesses mm -hmm. would essentially be shut down. And in today's day and age, it seems like internet is the new electricity. It is kind of that, Warren. It really is because when we look at remote working, we look at voice over IP, we look at cloud services, when the internet's down and I can't access critical files or answer the phone or get to wherever I need to go if I'm remote, that's a real problem and it can be very costly. Yeah. So it seems to me, Tim, that upward broadband could be a perfect solution for a redundant internet solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.